introduce yourself. Okay, hi, I'm Michelle Larry. I live in Hadley, New York, which is in the foothills of the Adirondacks. You've been here long? Uh, not even a year. Um, I actually lived down the road and had um, a number of acres that I decided to split. So sometimes I say I'm a subdivider, but in a good way. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, was able to work through the uh, APA process, that's the Adirondack Park Agency, okay. uh, and get this as uh, subdivided land. Mm -hmm. So I have eight and a half acres and wasn't sure if there was gonna be enough sun up here because it, we are in the woods right. and I only cut a few trees and some people were impressed that even though I have trees in front of the house, I still get full sun. Just decided one day I want my own little place in the woods and land got very expensive. Um, I was on the back end of uh, the booming house market, so everything was very, very expensive. And I said, well, I have land, so that's free. I just have to, you know, uh, do an APA application and cross my fingers because the worst thing that they can say is no and work from there. So um, I made sure I was very thorough. They said yes, and I'm like, all right, so now what am I going to do? <laughs> and I don't know, it just uh, enveloped into a big project of recycling everything I could find. I would go to flea markets and say, oh, these doors, these would make good cupboard doors or uh, something like that. Or I'd go to tile stores and say, do you got any tile you don't want? Sure, we have two pallets right here, but you have to take them. I'm like, okay, so free is a lot of work, but why, then again, I don't have to. Well, why, is that more, why was that more important to you than just you know, going with the contractor and doing what the rest of the world I was, was trying to save money, mm -hmm. and um, uh, I, I tend to be on the very artistic, creative side mm -hmm. and uh, like to do things myself. I'm very energetic and uh, take risks and uh, enjoy the challenge. Mm -hmm. And I'm not afraid to jump in and, and do that. Like people asked me, how do you know how to do that? I'm like, I don't. I'll just read and research and figure it out. You know, I figure I'm smart enough to do that, and I have the gumption. Uh, took a chainsaw class, cut all my trees down wow. myself with a friend, and it's, uh, I'm very proud of that, That's that cool. everything I did came right from this property. So that so. was important to you, keep it local. Yeah, why not? Why waste? I, you know, our country is full of waste. I don't need to waste. I don't need to buy something new. I can find something old and recreate it into something else. What are some examples of that? Oh, let's see. I found a toboggan on the side of the road that I made into a bench for the uh, breezeway mudroom. Mm -hmm. um, my doors are reclaimed from the basement of my mom's uh, and my parents' house. So the doors of the house, mm -hmm. I just refinish them. All the, uh, I guess, vanities for the bathrooms. I refinished some furniture uh, for the bathroom stands. When I was clearing the land, I hadn't actually, I knew I was going to do something, well, actually, I didn't know I was going to do something solar. Um, I was clearing the land, and my friend asked me, uh, of course, this, took, this was a three-year process, so the first year we cleared the land and built the driveway. And that was a whole year. And so while we were doing that, and we were cutting and skidding the trees, uh, very locally, just across the stone wall, you know, he goes, you know, why don't you get a wood-burning uh, furnace? You know, the ones that stand outside. So I got to thinking, well, if I get that, that means I have to run it year-round, and then I'd have to buy the wood year-round. So that means I'm not done with spending money. I still have to spend and fork out money. And, you know, he, he just came up, you know, they're about $7,000. So I just started thinking, well, a furnace is $7,000. So then I'm like, you know, the sun is free. And then that clicked, of course, free, me with free is, <laughs> is everything. I'm like, free? I could have free what? Free? <laughs> so I just started researching. And um, between PV and solar hot water, it, it, the, the price was much more reasonable for me for solar hot water. So I just started looking, I'm like, why don't I do that? And then when I started, you know, just going into a prefab, you know, someone comes in and does domestic hot water, $8,000. You know, that was like a price figure for something. I'm like, wait a minute, this is $8,000. It's only $1,000 more than that 
uh, wood burning furnace mm -hmm. and the next year I don't have to chop wood right. and the sun is free. So I can continually get hot water for free, whereas a wood burning furnace, you continually have to cut the wood and burn it all year round. So I'm right. like, free, like that, right? keep ba buying wood. So went towards the free side. <laughs> And I kept going and going with that. I just started researching more and somehow I got into, you know, at names of people and going to houses and looking at houses. And um, so for two years I did the solar tour mm -hmm. with all the houses and put together, you know, things I liked, things I didn't like, crossed off this, that, and did a little more research and came up with this. <laughs> And then I knew from the houses that I used to live in that I wanted everything wide open and lots of light. So inside uh, there are no walls uh, and everything is wide open and it's airy and nice and bright and it's terrific, especially in the winter time when the sun is shining and it reflects off the snow, you almost need sunglasses inside. Wow. In the winter time it's very bright. But um, the, the timber all the timber, most of the timber, some of the timber of the dwelling is from your land? I'd say 98% of the wood that you see here and inside comes and milled on this property or on the hill right here. Okay. And what does that mean to, to, to mill? How do you turn a tree into a piece of lumber? Well, you cut it down with a chainsaw, take a skitter, skid it to your, it's a portable sawmill, it's a big bandsaw. Mm -hmm which is actually, more, well, I found all of this out when I started doing this, much more efficient because the band is so thin, it, use, it takes less wood when you saw it. So you're gonna get more wood for your money. So um, got my list from uh, my friend who uh, told me you need 22 10 by 10s or whatever. And I said, okay. So we skidded all the trees out to the farm, which is just across the stone wall here, which was very, um, you know, I was lucky to have a neighbor that did that. I just asked him, I said, you know, I'm gonna build this house. Do you wanna cut the beams and the trees? He goes, sure, I'll do that for you. That, and we made two by fours, two by sixes, one bys, as many one by sixes, eights, tens, twelves as we could. And so we didn't waste any part of the wood. We used it all. And then he uses, he's got a maple syrup uh, he does maple syruping, so he takes all of the bark stuff and uses it to burn for his maple syrup. So nothing was really wasted at all. But um, the garage frame, all the timbers here, the interior walls, uh, the Snowflake Lodge, which is a storage uh, lodge slash little bunkhouse thing across the road, all of that uh, is all wood right from here. The only thing that is not wood is anything that's pressure treated, like the deck or the floors. Most of the floors, some of the floors are re reclaimed planks uh, and the wall, the, the window trim. So it's really pretty much over 95% of the wood is from here. Awesome. Yeah. I do, yeah, I have solar domestic hot water as well as a heat bank, which is just basically a big sandbox in the basement. It's about uh, 15 by 12, and uh, it's layered with PEX tubing, which the hot water will run through that and heat the sand. And then on either side of that, there is a corrugated pipe, solid pipe, that uh, runs through it, similar to like making a lasagna. Mm -hmm. The uh, hot water will heat the sand, uh, and that amount of sand was uh, two tandem trucks. So I don't know the tonnage, right. but just a lot of sand. Yeah. And, uh, and that's tampered down each layer. And so the water will heat the sand. And then uh, when the sand is heated, it's like, radiate, it's like radiant floor heat, but contained in a box. And uh, then you turn on a fan, turn on the blower, and it'll suck the air out as whether the air is hot or cold. So in the wintertime, it's warm air like even 70 degrees and it'll heat the house 70 degrees or um, cold air in the summertime you can actually turn the fan on not heat not turn not heat the bank until about this time middle of August mm -hmm. and you can actually blow 50 degree air and cool the house down several degrees wow. with that 
So it's got a dual purpose.